boss and it got extremely popular not only on TikTok but across the entire internet it's called pink sauce and it became a sensation because it's so concerning even just its appearance is alarming my... it looks like runny peptabismol it looks like Majin Buu donated blood and it got turned into dipping sauce. It looks like the paint they use at glow-in-the-dark mini golf courses. It just doesn't look fit for human consumption. And it turns out, it's not exactly safe to eat. So this let's get into it king. because this is a wild it's rabbit hole. So TikTok smokes. creators started making XQCL. these posts promoting the pink sauce and then it eventually went up for sale for people to buy. And right away people noticed something was really peculiar with the bottle because it said there were 444 servings per bottle. Which is obviously wrong. Unless of course it's Easy just the money. smallest serving sizes of all time. Like one tiddly wink of sauce is all you're supposed to consume oh. before you like actually die from it like cyanide. And not only is like some of this shit on there mislabeled but some of the ingredients are misspelled. Pepe but the, the thing clan. that really stood out to me is one of the ingredients in the sauce is milk. And this is shipped over state lines, and it's packaged in just these baggies, like these small bags. There's no, like, ice or, or anything to freeze it, no dry ice to keep it cool. So you're just getting shipped girl, hot so milk. Get also, there's no the preservatives in it, so XQC it has nothing to keep it stable. There's no way it survives the shipping process intact. It, it just becomes unedible. It, like, the sh there's no shelf life here. The second this thing leaves a refrigerator, it's on a tight How clock. Legal one? You have maybe like one good hour with the pink sauce before it just turns to nuclear waste. It's just this, like, it's just a disaster. So no doubt by the time you receive your pink sauce, the milk is already spoiled. So you're basically just buying poison. You're like, fundamentally, this is the Tide Pod challenge all over again, but in a bottle. By the time it reaches you, you've just got yourself like what? a, a what? goddamn container of rat poison. You may as well just go- Chat, if there's milk in something, is that something that, that's milk milk? Chat, what about like, um, uh, uh, candy bars? Don't they have like milk in the ingredients, but it doesn't matter because it's like in the milk chocolate or whatever? Go down to your local Walmart and just get a can of Raid Wasp Killer and start chugging that. Or dipping your chicken in that. You'd get the same flavor out of it. We need to talk about pink sauce and why a lot of people are concerned for the people that have bought this sauce from the lady that makes it on TikTok. Because the hue of the sauce keeps changing. Every photo, every video, the sauce color looks different. And also, she doesn't describe what it actually tastes like. I don't know if it is to promote it, get people to buy it, just to see what it tastes like, but she will not describe the taste. She says it's because she cannot describe the taste. I've been hearing it kind of tastes like ranch. Not exactly ranch, but basically ranch. I think it's important to note that the pink sauce that they're eating in the TikToks is probably safe. Like that was probably refrigerated and kept at the proper temperature so that way it didn't just turn into a bottle even of the, even then rancid though. sludge. But the pink sauce people are receiving are the bottles that were just shipped through the mail in the hottest summer on record. So I think they're getting a very different sauce here. So they're probably fine in the videos you're seeing, but if you're one of those poor souls that ordered this, I mean, Godspeed to you. You're gonna really be training your immune system, have that shit working overtime, because this is a recipe for disaster. Like, this shit seems like it would give you botulism and COVID at the same time. Also, fun fact, I decided to look into this a little bit more, and a food safety expert weighed in on it, and actually confirmed what I was just joking about, that you can actually get botulism from this product. Huh? Imagine paying $20 just to get murdered by some viral sauce you saw on TikTok. This shit is just basically paying $20 for an assassin in a bottle. Now that people have purchased it and received it, they're noticing that there's a lot of stuff that's really sketchy with the bottle. The nutrition facts seem to be off. It says there's 444 servings. Some of the ingredients are spelled wrong. The website also just seems so poorly put together. Like, what is this? Why does it say this? It's literally like $20 for a bottle, and a lot of people are now worried that this creator is going to be facing a lawsuit. Yeah, if people keep reporting that they're getting violently ill from the pink sauce, I think there probably is grounds for a lawsuit. But I also think it's- so arriving in the mail in these bags, they were not like boxed up with bubble wrap, and we're talking about liquid sauce here, so obviously oh, people them literally exploded. It's honestly so sad, I'm really rooting for small businesses, but when it comes to food, you need to be careful with what you're buying, and the safety and everything. I see a lot of people putting the- Imagine buying poison and getting mad that the poison is not well in case or some shit like that. Like, uh, dude, dude, you're bu 
You're you're a dumb fuck to begin with, bro. Like what the this is dude Ryan, What? Is this any poison to begin with? Like I see a lot of people putting the focus on the wrong thing here with the shipping, talking about how it would always spill and all of that. And while it's true, since it was packaged so inefficiently, the spilling should be like the least of your concerns. That's a blessing. If all of your pink sauce spilled into the box, that means you can't consume it, which means you won't die from it. The most important problem is that they shipped it without any like refrigeration to keep it cool. And if the ingredients are I accurate, there's no way that that can get as hot as it would during transit to get to you. Like, it, by the time you get it, it is no longer safe to consume. So, yes, it is true that it was packaged so poorly that all of them spilt. Like, here, I'll show you a couple more videos. Pay attention to, like, the color, too, and also look at, the, look at how they always, like, arrived spoiled in most of the videos. I'm gonna let that one fly. Didn't even like actually arrive. Oh, pink. hell just no! Ooze, just revolting slime. Now, the creator of it did respond and posted a video about it, but it's not exactly a good response, and she just chalks a lot of it up to being a small business and new to it. But when you're selling a product like this, you're, you're literally being entrusted with people's lives. You know, like they're trusting you not to give them foodborne illness, salmonella, botulism. You know, all of that. So it's kind of hard to just be like, oh, it's just a small business, they're learning. So what if a few people have to die for them to get the pink sauce right? You know, it's not exactly like super excusable if you ask me. Time to acknowledge the elephant in the room. So I want to start off by saying, number one, my apologies. I'm only human. I'm not perfect. The grams got mixed up with the serving size there's 444 grams of what sauce inside of each container so she starts by addressing the 444 servings thing saying it was just an honest honest mistake where grams got mixed up with the serving sizes and that it was being fixed so all the labels going forward would have the proper serving size this is a small business y'all we are working to try to get the price mark down on the pink sauce I want to also say I appreciate y'all for supporting me, for spending $20. She also mentions they're going to work on getting the price down, but again, I don't think there's any price you could pay me to even take a single lick of a spoon that was even anywhere near a pink sauce bottle. This is just an absolutely horrible, horrible venture, and I don't know how people actually bought it, uh, but anyway... Let's see how she addresses like the actual safety concerns. Yeah, isn't it just me on TikTok? You, you can literally sell anything to anybody. I think TikTok is so it's so down bad. This app is so it's so dude, it's like a complete different reality, man. I look at something that happened on TikTok, and it reminds me of the thing that happened just happening on Vine and the challenges. Of consuming it. Yes, we but are worse, following so. FDA standards. However, we are currently in lab testing. Okay, yeah, you, I don't think I don't think this, you should ever say however. However. However, we are currently however. in lab testing. We are in oh. lab testing. So once we go through lab testing, we will be able to pitch to stores to put the pink sauce in stores. And we're so excited about that. Good news, they're still in the lab. Motherfuck, motherfuckers are gonna fucking parade the dead. Oh, dude, vaccine this, unproven this, vaccine that, fuck, blah, 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 and don't buy a fucking gallon of pink sauce, man. I'm telling Please you, dude. Stores, I'm telling so you, dude. About that. Good news, they're still in the lab testing, and you all are the guinea pigs. So, they'll be able to see what the fatality rate here is on the pink sauce and be able to fine-tune it to be an even deadlier weapon in the future, I guess. I, they don't address the actual safety concerns of it, obviously. But, uh, I would have at least liked some insight. Hey guys, just in caps, says Lamau, TikTok is liberal, Echo Hub. TikTok is a liberal, Echo Hub. But then, but then, you crazies, you keep saying that, you keep saying that, um, TikTok is like China, it's like, 
this like manipulated Chinese CCP thing bullshit. I don't, I don't think they're they're very in line with what you're saying. But how does that make any sense? Sir? So how does that make any sense? It literally is, dude. How? Mods, get this guy on Discord. Mods, get, get him on Discord. It on refrigeration instructions, like, why does it get to you discolored and fucking hot? Like, it gets to you like multiple. I wanna, I wanna hear, guys, guys, I think today, okay, I'm gonna do I'm transforming the entire the entirety of the content of this fucking channel, okay? Now when I see some guy in chat, it's just such out no I'm not I'm not I'm not making a habit. Okay? You can get if anyone has to be a dumb fuck, okay? You'll be you'll, you'll go on Discord and you'll discuss your actual takes without altering it because you're embarrassed that it's dog shit. If you have a dog to take it, I always commit to my takes, okay? Commit to your takes, okay? Where is this guy? I show fear. Well, well, yeah, let's go. Well, get on this one. Molten lava when there's ingredients in there that shouldn't get to that temperature. So yeah, that's where the pink sauce rabbit hole wraps up. I hope no one's gotten extremely sick or have died from it. If they did, it would actually genuinely be their own fault. They'd have no one to blame but themselves. This is an entirely avoidable illness here you don't have to be exposed to the pink sauce epidemic what is he when it's very clearly oh he's not gonna say that he's not gonna be on discord because discord is a, a libtard echo chamber democratic plot hole done by the radicalized alt-right upper left circling wing dude or some shit i'm telling you dude okay he left. He left, man. Okay, I'm on this corner. I'm gonna go into the uh, the staff room. Okay. 